Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I just want to share some footage with you of building my newest amp. Uh, so a while back, maybe a year ago, I made a video that I was thinking about getting rid of my Blues Deluxe. And uh, I think that video kind of upset some people. And I never meant to say that the, the Blues Deluxe was like a terrible amp or anything. It just it didn't fit what I do anymore. So I was thinking about selling it, but it was pretty beat up, not worth a ton. So uh, I decided to convert it to a Dumble clone. Um, I have a couple of Dumble clones and I love them. And I saw some people on the internet converting a Hot Rod Deluxe or a Blues Deluxe to a Dumble clone and was like, I'm going to do that. So I did, and uh, I'm really pleased. It's a, it's a great sounding amp. So it's a 50 watt combo. It's a little smaller and a little lighter than the Twin Reverb. So it's a pretty cool amp to just walk into a, a club with. I built it pretty much to 102 spec. I built it um, without the bright cap on the master volume because I, I wanted to have an amp that I could just throw a pedal in the effects loop. Like um, the, the Volante pedal, it, it works great at, at line level. So I can just throw that in there and not use the Dumbelator. So no, no bright cap on the master volume. And I use different bright cap values, but other than that, it's it's pretty much 102. Oh, the, um, the power supply on the board I used was more like a precision power supply. So the, the balance resistor in there. So that's a, that's a slight difference from 102. But for the most part, it's a, a 50 watt version of 102. I did replace the last two balance resistors with a 150K um because there's no FET circuit and before that my voltages were way off so I had to do that with this board uh, I had to put that that last resistor in there to drop the voltage but other than that it was pretty easy to get the voltages right just by swapping out some tubes and it, it sounds the way it's supposed to sound so I'm super pleased and so it begins this is a blues deluxe reissue that I've had for 15 years Something like that, 10 years? I don't know. Since Blues Deluxe reissues were a new thing. Anyway, it's gonna be a Dumble clone. Oh, there we are, empty cabinet. About to strip this guy right here. All right, there's no turning back now. I got the, uh, the board here. I think I'm gonna scavenge it for parts before I get rid of it. Like, these jacks would go great in a pedal. It's got some decent pots in there. Yeah, I'm gonna scavenge that for pot parts. And then right here is the Dumble board I'm working on. It's a PCB that I got from a dude on Amp Garage. All right, I got a Mauser order in. I kind of broke it up into broke it into stacks, and I'll I'll either sort them into values or just take what I need and put it through the board. All right, I made some progress. Got a lot of the components soldered. Looking good. I got the chassis stripped, so that's looking good too. Got most of the components soldered. I'm still short some orange drops, and I haven't put the filter caps in yet because they're, they're tall, they go in last. All right, today I got the preamp tube sockets installed. I actually had to, uh, on the preamp tubes, not the power tubes, I had to grind on the inside to get the sockets to fit in there, but they fit perfectly now. I also marked and drilled for the standoffs since the uh, Blues Deluxe circuit board is a little different than the Hot Rod Deluxe, which is what the circuit board was designed for. The circuit board's done. I went ahead and went with the screw terminals. I, I may regret it and end up taking them all out and soldering the wires directly, but I really love the idea of being able to pop the board out and I don't know, change I don't know why. I like the idea of the modular build, so we'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, I started installing the hardware and the offboard stuff. I had to uh, I had to change the standoffs. The ones that were in the Blues Deluxe were too tall. Uh, so the filter caps were actually poking out. <laughs> so that wasn't gonna work. So I had to change the standoffs, which is a little bit of a bummer because I was like, all right, the standoffs that are already in there work great. So if you're doing this with a Blues Deluxe, don't expect the standoffs to uh, to match up. So now I just need to do the wiring. Pretty much, pretty much on the home stretch here. Got most of the power transformer stuff hooked up. The switching for the power and standby. Got the output section about halfway wired. And I'm about to start on the front panel stuff. All right, y'all, I'm still going. I got the preamp tubes wired. 
phase inverter, power section, hooked up the transformers. Now, I guess tomorrow I'll do the front panel. That's all that's left. That's all that's left. And then, of course, starting it up and hoping it works and then troubleshooting it if it doesn't. All right, y'all, it's almost time. I uh, have gone through every single connection to the board and the tubes with a continuity checker. Everything seems right. Uh, it's, I, I did find, um, I did find right here, it's supposed to be a 180 between the drive control and the tube, and I had a 100 there. Oops. Need to hit this thing with a vacuum. I'm just gonna stare into it for a while before I hook it up to a bulb limiter. Well, I went to test it, and I don't have any incandescent bulbs. So I'm headed out to get a couple of bulbs so I can fire it up with the bulb limiter. All right, y'all, it's done. Sounds great. I'll tell you what, I have a Cannabis Rex in there and uh, Comparing it to the EV speaker I have in my other cabinet, this thing is is not really doing the job. Uh, it's it's kind of got a cool crunch to it, but at the same time, it's just not not quite right. So I'm gonna leave it in there. I've got some other speakers to swap out and try, but uh, I'm not gonna mess with that today. I did figure out um, on the, the the PAB boost. I had wired it to 102 spec, so the base pot lug was going 10k to ground. Um, and I realized to get that boost to work right, I had to go 10k to the ground lug on the mid pot so that when you hit the PAB button, it lifts the mids and the base. And that's working really good. Uh, all in all, it, it's working. Oh, I also had to replace. Um, the last resistors off of the B5 with a 150k, just like just like you always do if you don't use the FET circuit. So anyway, that's that's where we're at. All right, I'm about to uh, steal this Jensen out of one of my twin reverbs, my beat up twin with random speakers. It's one of the uh, C12Ks that would have came in a 65 reissue twin. I've had this in the Blues Deluxe, but not with the Dumble Circuit. But uh, it had a lot of clarity and fat low end with the Blues Deluxe. So who knows? I I don't like the Cannabis Rex in there, so we're gonna try it. Okay, so I've been using this Warehouse 1265 copy for a couple of weekends of gigs. Um, it's been in, it's been in there since right after I finished the amp. Uh, I had the Cannabis Rex in there, didn't work for me. I put the Jensen in there, didn't work for me. So I put that Jensen speaker in there and that lasted a few days before I decided to try one of the warehouse 1265 copies and it instantly, I mean instantly I put that speaker in there and I was like this is the sound. So that 1265 copy is just going to stay in there. But for a minute there I thought I needed to buy another EV because the EV with my 100 watt clone of 102 sounds fantastic. Uh, the EV. EV is the speaker for that amp, uh, but in the 50 watt package, the the 1265 style speaker works fantastic. So I'm not really planning on doing a full fledged demo or anything, but I'll play a little bit and show you what this thing sounds like. So, so here it is on the clean channel. Let's do the, uh, the bridge pickup.
We'll go back to the neck pickup. Let's kick on the overdrive. Uh, that's what everybody's probably here for anyway. So I'll start out with just the, the drive without the boost, and then we'll do the boost. Now we'll do the bridge pickup with the tone rolled back just a little bit because that's that's how I like to do it. has the sound. All right, let me kick the, the boost on and then we'll get out of here. Appreciate you checking out my amp with me. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching.